think we'll find life. We will find life on other planets. Over. Uh, good morning, Ian. Yes, I do think we'll find life on on other planets. I think Mars is the uh, is the closest candidate in, in our solar system. If there's no life there, then we'll have to look at other solar systems. Over. Have you gone on a a moonwalk? And what was your favorite part? Over. Over. I have never been on a spacewalk. However, aboard the space station yesterday, there was one spacewalk where two of my friends went out. When they came back in, they had big, big smiles on their faces. Over. What is the lowest orbit that a satellite can maintain around the Earth? Over. Hi, Trevor. I think the lowest orbit is probably about 120 miles, uh, but that satellite would not stay in orbit for very long. It would soon uh, re-enter Earth's atmosphere. So 120 miles is probably the lowest we can consider for short duration. Over. Are you having fun being an astronaut? Over. Hi, Justin. Yes, this is the best job in the world for me. I have an interest in science, technology, and math. I can't imagine anything else I'd rather be doing. Over. Is it difficult to sleep in space? Over. Good morning, Chris. No, it is not difficult to sleep in space. Every night when I go to bed, I'm asleep within five or ten minutes. Since everything around you floats, how do you know which way is up? Over. Uh, usually, I consider where my feet are as uh, as down. So uh, my feet could be on the on the ceiling, on the walls, or the floor, but for me, that is down. Over. Do you ever get to eat real food like on Earth? Over. Over. Yes, we do get to eat real food, but only when uh, the space shuttle has arrived or uh, a progress uh, cargo vehicle has arrived. Those vehicles bring fresh food to us. We don't have a fridge or a freezer on board to keep us for a long time. Over. When do you think we'll put a man on Mars, and would you like to go? Over. Over. Hi, Dusty. Um, I think it's probably still several years away, maybe another uh, 20 or 25 years from now. A lot of hard work and a lot of uh, technology needs to be developed to make it safe. Um, I think you would be a better candidate to go to Mars uh, than me. If I had the chance, of course, I would love to go. Over. Will you dream about floating into space when, you're, when you come back down to Earth? Over. Over. Uh, I find that when I'm on Earth, I dream about uh, being in space. When I'm in space, I dream about being uh, on Earth with my family. Over. Has anyone brought any hobbies with them to the space station? Over. Morning, Bill. Yes, uh, when we have free time, we like to bring space to hobbies. The most common hobby is reading. We have brought a few books along with us. One of my crewmates, Mike Barrett, has brought along a model ship that he's building. It's uh, a model of the famous James Cook. How many language do you, languages do you speak? Over. Uh, my native language is English, but I also speak French and Russian. Over. Where do I Boy Scout and which bear badge was the most fun for you? Over. Over. Uh, about 40 years ago, the Merrimack that uh, had the most fun uh, was swimming and camping. Over. How do you take off the garbage? Over. Off the garbage uh, out the door, um, that's impossible. But every once in a while, a Russian cargo vehicle called Progress visits us. Just before it departs, we load it with our garbage and close the hatch. Over. What made you want to become an astronaut? Over. Um, when I was uh, your age, I watched the uh, Apollo astronauts, who were the first astronauts to go to the moon. Uh, their job thrilled me, and I decided if I ever had the chance, I'd like to become an astronaut. Over. What video games do you play? Over. Um, I like uh, a lot of video games, uh, but I guess the ones that I enjoy the most are space related. I have a shuttle landing video game at home, which is very challenging, and I, I like to practice that one. Over. Has the International Space Station ever been hit by a meteor? Over. Hi, Trevor. That's a very good question. Um, the answer is yes, but uh, we've only been hit by micro meteoroids, meaning very, very, very small uh, pieces of matter or little particles in space. Uh, this happens every week up here, and the space structure is strong enough to withstand it. However, if we ever get hit by a space
if you play hockey in space, what would be the puck? Over. Over. Oh, uh, Daniel from Neuken. Uh, we uh, the reach of the ISS is out. Very good. That Hello, everybody. It's Gaston speaking in Brussels. <coughs> well, congratulations to everybody for uh, the space talk. And uh, we had um, 24 questions answered. That's quite a bunch. So, um, well, it was a little bit late for um, sending an applause uh, to uh, Robert Tusk. But anyway, we had a great time. So congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much, Gustav. Jake, thank you. Yay! Yay! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have shared what we can call a moment of history. Amateur radio station Lima Uniform 8 Yankee Yankee in Argentina operated by Lewis, contacted Robert Tursk, Victor Alpha 3, Charlie Sierra Alpha, aboard International Space Station, talking with scouts at the Octave Chanute Air Museum in Rantoul, Illinois. Now, for the international volunteer team of ARIS, including the Radio Amateur Satellite Corporations around the world, the Amateur Radio Relay League, TSA, ESA, JAXA, NASA, and Roscosmos. This is Gaston Battelle, amateur radio operator of Sky November 4, Whiskey Foxtrot, sending my greetings to all of you in amateur radio terms. 73. Best wishes. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gustav. Thank you so much. WB9SA.